Today, I want to help you get some decluttering motivation to tackle your space, any space in your home that feels a little bit overwhelming. I want to help you tackle it. So whether you have five minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, let's tackle a space together and hopefully this video will give you that motivation that you need and hopefully you'll be able to make some quick decisions and be able to move past any decluttering fatigue that you might have. And I'm gonna be showing you what I was able to get rid of and hopefully that will be something that can spark some inspiration in your mind on items that you no longer need. Mother Teresa said, the more you have, the more you are occupied. The less you have, the more you are free. And I love this and I think it pertains to our stuff. When you realize that all of your stuff is taking up all of your time and energy. Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys what I was able to declutter, remove from my space to be able to take control of my home, be able to have a more simplified space with less cleaning and being able to just kind of focus more on my family with just having less in my home. I'm going to let you guys know why I got rid of certain things that maybe will help you get rid of some of your things too. Okay. And if you hear my girls in the background, they're just chilling for a second while I quickly film this for you guys and then get out of my house. So I'm going to hurry and show you what I got rid of and I'm going to tell you why I got rid of them. This will help you get motivation to let go of some of your stuff. So first up is this tiered tray. I absolutely love it. It is so cute, but honestly, I never really used it. And whenever I tried to use it, it just didn't work out exactly how I kind of envisioned it. And so I'm just going to pass it on so that someone can use it and benefit from it and hopefully love it. And so I'm just going to let this one go. All right, and then in this bag, I just have some cleaning supplies that I'm just gonna be dropping off at my mom's. Um, we're just gonna get some cleaning done as well as this basket. I'm also decluttering the basket. That's the cleaning supplies. I'm gonna be sending that to my mom. Next, I just have some clothes I'm just going to be giving away. Uh, one of the things was this dress. It's so, so cute. So I'm passing this one on because it doesn't fit me correctly. It kind of just where the shape is, it needs someone who's a little bit taller and uh, with how my body is, it just doesn't make me feel very confident when I don't have clothes that fit me correctly. And so I'm gonna be passing that on for that reason. This yoga mat, really, we haven't really pulled it out. My girls have done flips on it, but other than that, I'm gonna let someone actually use it because for the most part, it just hangs out in the closet. So next I have this stuffy that I'm going to be letting go of as well as these little extras. I didn't really ever use these and this didn't really chop like I wanted it to. So I'm just gonna be letting go of those. Next I have a puck light that I don't really use. These scissors don't really open and close like I want them to and I already have another pair. So I'm letting go of those. Um, I've had a couple of these containers as long as they're empty. And so I'm letting that go now. And then um, this I'm gonna be passing on and then these two are expired. And then these two I'm gonna be passing on. This is a container I had band-aids in. And so I'm gonna be letting this go. I have some bows, some hair things. If you have any hair things that you just aren't using, just let them go. I'm not really using these. These are from my bathroom. My daughters kept on taking them off and kind of made it so there was no purpose for them. And it was just something that I had to maintain. So I kind of did not like that. Okay, so I decided to get rid of containers that I was not using. I had these two pink containers, this one, as well as some hangers, and then some of these white ones, and then some other ones right there. I quickly went throughout my house, decided which containers I wanted. I replaced some of these with other ones that I liked more. And then I also have these three containers that I've loved using, but I'm going to pass them on to see if someone in my family wants them. Otherwise, I will be donating them. And so that is kind of where I'm at, is I did not, need all of this stuff. And I love this quote by Joshua Becker. The first step to crafting the life you want is to get rid of everything you don't. So I got to the point that I found that all these items were making it harder for me to clean, to be able to focus, to be able to have good mental energy for myself and for my kids because little items here and there, they just start to accumulate. And just being able to free up my home from this many items, it helps me also be a more vigilant wise person when it comes to purchasing items and i'm just so happy with how much i was able to let go of and i i'm excited to be able to uh, let these items have a new home and be able to free my home from these items because that is where like that is where the the, the beautiful um part of this is I don't need to have these items someone can benefit from these items and i don't need them to be in my home anymore um, some of them were hard for sure to get rid of. 
This dress I have wanted to work on me, but it just does not, especially in this stage of life. Um, like I'm a mama and I feed my baby and so this wasn't very easy to wear and, and feed my baby, but also it did not work with how my body looked. It just didn't give me the confidence I need and I'm, I'm fun to be around. I'm more fun when I'm confident. So, and when I'm feeling good and when I'm happy. So clothes that make me feel good, make me happy. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. So hopefully this was beneficial to you guys. Hopefully you guys can find some stuff to let go of in your home. I'm also going to be passing on these two things to my sibling just because they're going to be able to get a lot more use out of it than I have been able to just because I know they're going to love that. So say goodbye to all this stuff. Woohoo! I love this quote by Francine J. My goal is no longer to get more done, but rather to have less to do. All right, here are some items I'm going to be decluttering out of my home. So as you can see in here, I have some toys, some paper that needs to be shredded, some lights that we aren't going to be using, and these hangers, as well as some shoes, and then two articles of clothing from my closet, as well as one from my husband. There's some candy, a couple more random things, a paper pad, as well as just some more miscellaneous. So I'm just going to be letting go of these items and uh, these will be finding a new home, so it'll be great. And then I have more freed up space. Yay! Joshua Becker said, A home with fewer possessions is more spacious, more calming, and more focused on the people who live inside it. All right, and here is the next layer. You may notice these from my last closet declutter, so those items are going. I also have three bins here that I'm gonna be passing on as well as some coloring pencils, some crayons, this big doggy, this Christmas tree, we already have another one, some random bits, a green blanket, and then I also have some random bits in here as well that we're gonna be letting go of, as well as these two little baskets and that is it you don't have to do huge declutters little things here and there can really make a huge difference to the impact that it'll have on your house having less stuff so now i'm ready to let these items go you may be finding similar items in your own homes so this was a big stuffed animal she also has a unicorn pillow that she decided i let her choose between the two and she chose the unicorn pillow and then she's seen it a couple times and she hasn't reached for it so it's been good to go so we're going to let that item go and then she did keep 10 of these but just with my daughter being so young she was the one who would use the coloring pencils so i kept 10 and i'm going to let someone else use these who wants the plethora of colors and then also some crayons I just stuck to the coloring pencils and then with the little tree here we have another one so we're just going to let this one go I let her choose which one she wanted and then uh, letting out of these bins one of these was in my closet and then two of these were in my front closet my husband still has two in his closet but I'm going to be passing these on and then just the random assortment the blanket I let everyone choose their favorite blanket and then this was the odd one out which is still beautiful but I want to let someone else use it just because we weren't reaching for it because I've been really good about keeping our blankets clean and we generally reach for the same blanket and then if you watch my closet declutter I let go of these items as well as a couple of accessories and then in here is just some more random items as well as the last of my white bins I had three of these it's the last one and I still have two of these black bins in my fridge but otherwise I'm letting go of this black bin and all these items so it is super freeing to be able to let go of these items and make little adjustments here and there to be able to make my house feel a lot easier to manage and take care of. And hopefully someone will be able to benefit from these items. And I know that I will not having them in my home and not having to manage them. So say goodbye. Joshua Becker said, minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we value and the removal of anything that distracts us from it. So whether or not your end goal is minimalism or just living with less, I absolutely love the idea of just lowering the inventory in your home. Dawn from The Middle of Mom is probably my biggest inspiration as I love that she talks about all the things that she has been able to get rid of and how she's been able to do it. And she's been a huge inspiration to me as I continue to declutter and help others declutter. And I hope that this video was inspirational to you. And I'll see you guys next week's video. Bye. 
for more motivation to take control of your space, watch my decluttering playlist. And also don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And you can also follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.